Hi everyone, welcome back to Unveiling Islam. I'm David Wood here with Brother Rashid. Hello. Brother Rashid, one thing that's going to come up very, very quickly in any discussion between Christians and Muslims, one of the, one of the first things yes. will be, <laughs> ah, you Christians believe in the confusing trinity, yeah, you worship three gods. Yeah, three is, is polytheism, yeah. whereas in Islam... It's, we worship it's, one. Yeah, just one makes perfect sense, no confusion. And so we're the Christians are the ones with the problem here, and they'll yeah. say again that we're, we're polytheists and so on. But uh, something interesting happens when we go to the Quran. It doesn't seem like the author of the Quran even knows what the doctrine of the Trinity is. No. Is, no. has no clue. Yes. Um, so I'll just, I'll just go ahead and read a verse here, and then uh, we, can, we can discuss mm. some of the problems that arise here. So this is Surah 5, verse 116. Yes. And, and in Surah 5, this is where we find um, the, uh, the, Trinity, the Trinity and the deity of Christ being rejected. And then finally, finally in verse 116, we finally find out what is being denied and rejected here. So verse 116, and behold, Allah will say, O Jesus, the son of Mary, did you say unto men, worship me and my mother as gods in derogation of Allah? He will say, glory to you. Never could I say what I had no right to say. Had I said such a thing, you would indeed have known it. You know what is in my heart, though I know not what is in yours, for you know in full all that is hidden. So here... In the chapter that is denying the doctrine of the Trinity, we finally have um, the Islamic view of what the doctrine of the Trinity is. It's Allah, Jesus, and Mary, and their three... A husband and a wife, and they had a kid. And their three sort of separate gods who work together as one, and there you have it, the Christian doctrine of the Trinity being refuted. Is that, is that right? It's really weird. I thought when I was a Muslim, I thought Christians just believe in a God who had a wife and they had a kid. And I was like, they are really dumb, basically. And that's what every Muslim believes about Christianity if he relies only on the Quran and the commentators. Of so in, in other words, in other words, if you, if you were on an island somewhere and someone gave you the copy of the Quran, yeah. and said, hey, read this Quran from beginning to end, and then they read it, and then you ask the person, what is the doctrine of the Trinity? That person would say, Christians, um, Christians believe or in Allah, Jesus, and Mary, this sort of holy family who all work together as one, even yeah. though they're three separate, separate beings. And never the Quran mentioned the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He never refuted that trinity, which was the trinity of Christianity from the beginning until today. He never refuted that one. He refuted a weird trinity. And when you read the verses one after the other, you come to this conclusion. And this was what, what, what uh, confused me when I was trying to compare the Bible and the Quran. I was trying to find in the Bible where this trinity is, and I couldn't find it. So the, the, the writer of the Quran was really confused about this. The, the verse you mentioned, it's just a scene from the end days. Allah will talk to Jesus. Did you really tell people to worship you and your mom? No, I didn't. Like Allah, Allah's wondering, hey, where, where'd they get well, this from, Jesus? You tell them that? I, I didn't say that. You're God. You know what I have said. And then God will be like, okay. And it's weird. Jesus... In the gospel, never said, worship me and my mom, so we agree he never said that. Christians never claimed that. So you are refuting a claim that was not made by any Christian. Yeah, and by the way, that should have been the response. If this were an accurate discussion yes. between God and Jesus, even if you only believed that Jesus was a prophet, and then God is saying, hey, where'd they get that idea? The correct response would be, what idea? No one says that. Yes. No one's saying that. What are you, ta what are you even talking about? I, I, I thought you were the all-knowing one here. The other one, we can prove that the Quran misunderstood the Christian trinity from other verses. For example, from the same chapter, Al-Ma'idah 573. They have certainly disbelieved, it means Christians, 
who say Allah is the third of three. It's not one God in three persons, the third of three. There are two other gods beside him, Mary and Jesus. Because Christians never believed that there are three gods. And, and by the way, it, it's, it's condemning Christians who say Allah is the third of three. Yes. How many Christian groups do you ever know, have you ever heard of, who use that as their creed? Mm. Allah is the third of three. None since None. the start of Christianity. Who's he, who in the world is he responding to here? And in, in, in Surah 6, 101, he said, he is the originator of heavens and earth. How could he have a son when he does not have a companion? Mm -hmm. So he's rejecting the sonship because he understood a son as a physical son. How come you say, I have a son, but I don't have a wife? Mm -hmm. Well, what an argument. You can't have a son actually without a wife because you are God. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's one. Second, that's not what Christians believe. Yeah, what, what are you refuting again? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so, so no, uh, it, it's, it's really important for people to understand this. The Quran is rejecting things that Christians have never maintained. And it's, it's like, a straw man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one big straw man. And it's either, so Allah is either being ignorant or he's deceptive. He's lying about what we believe or he doesn't actually know what we believe. I just wanted to point out as a little uh, uh, Quran contradiction there, how in, in Surah 19, it's the, the exact opposite because when... Um, Mary is told she's going to have a son. Her response is, how can I have a son when no man has touched me? Yes. And the response is, it's easy for Allah. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I, <laughs> so over here, so Allah can, you can have a mother with no husband. You don't need the husband and you can have a son. But if you just have the father, even if, even if it's Allah, he, he, he can't do it unless he has a wife. That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's quite a problem. So, so not, only, not only is it is there no connection to reality of what Christians believe, it's not even consistent about what Allah can do. In Surah Al-Jinn 72.3, and it teaches that exalted is the noblest of our, uh, our Lord, he has not taken a wife or a son. So he's refuting taking a, the idea of taking a wife and a son. And it's repeated again and again and again. There is no place where you understand the Christian Trinity there. My question was when I was searching, how can I refute the Christian Trinity from the Quran? Do we have one verse? Did we understand it clearly? Where is the Holy Spirit in this? There is none. So every Muslim who rejects the Christian Trinity, he's just rejecting it from his own mind. He has no uh, base on the Quran. He has no uh, argument that he can deduct from Quranic verses. And it, this, is, this is really interesting from, uh, from the perspective of God trying to debunk Christian claims, but not even getting the Christian claims right. Like, yes. like you pointed out, this is a straw man. In yes. philosophy, it would be considered oh, horrible it, to it, say, I'm going to refute this person, and you completely <laughs> misrepresent everything that person says. Yeah. And then you attack, you attack your own misrepresentations of what the person has said, and then say, ha, 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 I refuted him. No, you didn't. You didn't refute anything. In Surah Al-Isra, praise to Allah. This is 17, 1, 11. Praise to Allah who has not taken a son and has had no partner. He didn't have a partner. He didn't have a son. Okay, we get it. Christians do not believe that God has a partner and then because of a relationship, they had a son. We get it. Christians can say amen to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about the Christian trinity? And, and the weird thing, even the hadith. You have thousands of hadiths talking about how we go to the bathroom, how we get out, how Muslim, how, how Muhammad slept with his wives, how Muhammad said this, how he, he made number one and number two mm -hmm. in the desert, and every detail you can think of. He couldn't talk just a little bit about just the not Christian, one clear <laughs> Christian trinity. 
the most important thing that people are going to hell according to Muslims, Christians are going to hell because of this doctrine. He couldn't con give us just one hadith to refute it clearly, which means he had no clue. That, that is what it would suggest. And uh, for you Muslims who are watching, just wanted to make this as clear as, as possible. I understand Muhammad misunderstanding the doctrine of the Trinity. In other words, if Muhammad is going around and you know he's trading on the caravans and he occasionally acts with some, interacts with some Christians and sometimes heretical Christians and so on, he hears Christians talking about the Trinity. He hears Christians talking about God the Father. He hears Christians talking about Jesus, but he also hears Christians talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus. And so I understand Muhammad Got confused. Yeah, he's, I can understand Muhammad being confused and saying, oh, they say Trinity, and I hear them talking about the Father and the Mother of Jesus and Jesus, oh, that's what the Trinity is. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and refute that doctrine of the Trinity. I understand Muhammad making that mistake. I do not understand God making that mistake. I don't understand God not knowing what Christians are actually saying. And so if you, if, you take, if you take what the Quran says, you basically have two options. Either Allah was ignorant, he did not know what Christians believe, mm -hmm. and he's responding to something based on his ignorance and doing a terrible job of it because he does not know what we believe. Or he does know what we believe and he's lying about what we believe as one big straw man deliberately. Yeah. So those are your options from the perspective of a Muslim. Given what the Quran says about the doctrine of the Trinity, your God is either ignorant or deceptive, but under no circumstances has he refuted the doctrine of the Trinity.